Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you about drop three, a really beautiful chordal family that emphasizes changing the bass rather than the root note. And it creates a lot of amazing effects. Progression sounds surprising. Really, really a great uh, skill to learn. My favorite example is No Surprises by Radiohead where they do the... That second chord with uh, A over C sharp, which makes the whole song work for me. So anyway, it's a very, very wonderful uh, chordal family. Inspired a lot in me. Hopefully it will uh, in you as well. Let's get into it. Okay, so this is the chart. Uh, in the parenthesis, you see the strings 4, 3, 2, 1. You read it as columns. So my root position, C major 7, consists of the numbers um, uh, 1, 7, 3, and 5. And now I'll do a slow shape creation. So I'll be uh, modifying this chord uh, one note at a time to make it C7, C minor 7, and C uh, half diminished. So let's lower the fourth string to get C7. Lowering the 3 to get C minor 7. And lowering the second string to get C half diminished. The next inversion is beautiful. It has the third in the bass here. The numbers are 3, 1, 5, and uh, major 7. So that's how it looks like. I fingered it this way kind of bar this finger so it helps and then I'll lower the B string to C7 for the C minor 7 I will change my fingering as such to get the C minor 7 and for the C uh, half diminished I will lower my third string to get this the next inversion is the second inversion here my numbers are 5, 3, 7, 1. Lowering the pinky on the third string to get C7. Lowering the fourth string from E to E flat to get C minor 7. And lowering the bass to get C half diminished. A beautiful voicing. And moving to the third inversion, I'm here. Bar chord on three notes. My numbers are 7, 5, 3, and 1. And if I lower my bass, I'll get C7. If I lower my first, my second string, I'll get C minor 7. And if I lower my fourth string, I'll get C half diminished. As such. Okay, so now that we've built our four uh, founding uh, inversions, each of them has four chords, let's practice shape creation with the Harmonic Explorer, which is an app I built which can really help you practice this stuff. Uh, we can really uh, play the shape creation. It's going to be uh, quite easy, I hope. So let's try it this way. It's going to be a lot of fun. Okay. So we're in shape creation in drop three. I can You can dial in the tempo and it's really an application. You can explore a lot of different chords with it. Today we'll be doing shape creation starting on the lowest inversion, on second inversion. I'll play with it. You can uh, play uh, this on the web so you can simply practice at your own tempo. Here we go.
Okay, that was shape creation. We played all types of chords in, in inversion and then moved gradually from left to right on the fretboard. The second exercise is called All Inversions, where we play all inversions of each chord, 4C major 7s, 4C 7s, and so on. Let's go. Okay, now the next exercise is called diatonic series. We will play the uh, seventh chords within the C major scale, C uh, major seven, D minor seven, E minor seven, and so on. But we'll, we'll be starting on the lowest uh, leftmost chord we can find. For example, if I'm doing a uh, diatonic series in root position, my lowest chord is F because lower than that is E minor. And I try to avoid open strings when I'm studying structurally the shapes. So I'll be starting on F major 7, then G7, A minor 7, and so on. Okay, and of course I recommend playing the descending thing as well. It's good for you. And let's now do it in first inversion, starting on E minor 7 with the third in the bass. Here's the series. comes the second inversion starting on C major 7 with the fifth in the bass. Another beautiful set. And finally, third inversion, starting with A minor 7, with a 7 in the bass. Great. That was a diatonic series. Uh, I really recommend learning this step. And finally, let's actually try to play a song. Uh, I've selected All the Things You Are as an example. I'll play just the whole song so you get a sense of it, and then we'll see how the drop free uh, comes into playing songs with voice leading, which is almost the whole point. <laughs> fun to add all these uh, fun little melodies because they're just right there when you know voice leading. So how does this work? I start on my F minor 7 on the highest inversion I can uh, excluding the uh, 12th, the 13th fret, sorry, because I want uh, always to get used to playing from right to left because these uh, seventh chords tend to descend gradually as you play them on the fretboard. And I'm simply using uh, notes that are common to both chords when I'm moving to the next inversion. That's the essence of voice leading, moving as little as possible. So here goes, F minor seven.
and you could go on with this as much as you like. And here's one word of advice. Once my guitar uh, uh, can't go any lower for my, for example, D7 in this situation, if I need an open string or I don't have the note, I simply raise the whole chord by an octave and continue uh, exactly from the previous inversion. This teaches me how to connect correctly inversions. In this example, A minor 7 in third inversion is the companion to D7 in first inversion. So I, once in a while I skip an octave. And my uh, one thing I would mention is that if you know your drop 2, from my previous video, you can really uh, just bring your top string to the bottom and you'll get instant drop 3. But the name of the inversion changes because the name is given by the bass. For example, this C major 7 is called first inversion because the E, the third, is in the bass. But if I take my uh, top note to the bottom, now it's in second inversion because the bass note is actually G, the fifth of the chord. Okay? So in summary, we went through uh, four steps. Shape creation, uh, movement between inversions, and then we played the diatonic series in C major, and then we practiced uh, uh, four, uh, eight bars of all things you are as a practice song. I suggest studying this well and playing random standards and chord changes that use this. It's a very uh, creative, inspiring family. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't. It helps me a lot. That's a great way to thank me. And I'll see you for the next one. Bye-bye, guys.